Flying the polar air routes across the top of the world, a potential enemy is but a few hours away. Seattle can be reached in eight hours flying time. Traveling at speeds in excess of 400 miles an hour, an enemy turboprop bomber could reach Denver, Colorado in just half a day. Moscow is closer to Chicago than to Russia's eastern border. With vastly increased range, today's Soviet planes are capable of making the round trip from Central Europe to New York City with frightening ease. In quantity to the Soviet Union belongs the world's largest pool of air power. This is the air force of the past. Today, the Aviacia Dalnievo Adaskieva, the Russian Strategic Air Command, now possesses the TUG-75, a turboprop bomber able to make the round trip from Berlin to Boston at speeds over 400 miles an hour. To equal the Soviet fighting forces now in existence, man for man and tank for tank, the United States would have to double the number of dollars spent for defense. Because power, not a better way of life for the people, is the sole aim of the Russian rulers, all but a minimum of Soviet production can be and is channeled to increase Russia's military strength. But half a world away from Moscow's Red Square in towns like Elizabeth, New Jersey, strong countermeasures are being taken to thwart a sudden attack by any aggressor. The scene of enormous guns lumbering through the heart of town is being reenacted today in a thousand cities and towns across the nation. In the pre-atomic era, America was invulnerable to attack, but our size and remoteness no longer serve as shields. Today, every city is a potential battlefield, every citizen a potential target. To provide the steel ring of defense, the arms and armor must enter the domain of civilian life. In Elizabeth, a vacant lot near Mavlock Manor offers an ideal gun sight. A calm residential neighborhood finds an atmosphere of combat readiness. The change goes deeper than the transforming of an unused field. An appreciation of the precarious balance of the Cold War is brought home to the residents of this area. Anti-aircraft defense today is a far cry from the methods used in past wars. No longer do the gunners need to see the target. Electronic devices do the seeing for them. Safeguarding the lives and homes of all Americans is the primary goal of every anti-aircraft installation. The new home of Able Battery of the Army Anti-Aircraft Artillery. Protecting the American people from any kind of air attack is an enormous responsibility. No effort is too great, no safeguard too stringent, for the importance of complete success is without parallel in history. To assure maximum protection for our cities, gun sites are placed at strategic locations in and around the suburbs. Unlike other soldiers on duty within the continental limits of the U.S., anti-aircraft crewmen must be at their post 24 hours a day. The schedule of a military post on combat duty does not match that of the civilian living just on the other side of the fence. At times like this, it is exceedingly easy to forget that the disturbance is directly related to your well-being. Somebody's got to put a stop to this kind of thing. A few more untimely risings and you won't have any further need for anti-aircraft protection. They'll be taking you away in a straitjacket. So, as a conscientious citizen, you feel obliged to speak for yourself and your neighbors. You confront the proper authorities. Someone has got to take the reins in his hand. Is there no other way to route the men out of bed? Is this whistle really necessary? You're a reasonable man, but after all, the gun crews and their civilian neighbors have to learn to live together. They succeed by learning each other's problems. Military procedures are modified to meet local conditions. 
civilians are encouraged to come and learn what this defense business is all about. As the defense picture is explained, people get a better understanding of the importance of their gun sight and why it must be located where it is. Gradually, the understanding that the guns are not a threat to real estate values, but are actually a protection for their property and themselves, replaces the old fears and resentments. 